upon what is correct. The way of the Salaf. That Jama'ah can even be one at the hadith of Man? Ibn Mas'ud radiyallahu anhu. Al Jama'ah ash ma wafaq al haq walau kunta wahdak. The Jama'ah is that which comply with the truth, even if that's you alone by yourself. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala Muhammadin wa ala alihi wa sahbihi ajma'in. If there was any mistake that I have done, please rectify me. May Allah rectify your affairs. Faddal. Ya Ghulam. He said, how about those who say, I don't want to be with the, the brothers because of the harshness. You know, one thing is this though. Alhamdulillah, the person of the sunnah that really understands the sunnah will never be harsh. Except when harshness is due. Except when harshness is due. And we know al-hikmah is wadu'u shayfi mawdi'ihi. There is time where you have to be what? Very, very, very open, hearted and open face. Meaning have this welcoming face. Giving the good words to those that we see the first time. And it is not proper, barakallah, whether it is in the brother's side or in the sister's side. A person just come, right? And sometimes, barak, a person can come shave lihya, cut up his lihya, or he's dragging his pants. You want to escort him out? Or a woman just come to the masjid not even covered properly? Or wearing things that is not proper to wear as a Muslim woman, right? You don't know. Barakallah, it is for you to do what? To make sure that they understand what is, what is their actions. Make sure that they are upon ilm. If you know now they know that this is not pro proper, now you educate them. And kathalika with the brother side. Sometimes individual comes, they don't, actually they don't know how to pray. They don't know nothing from about what you're talking about. Are you going to, you know, or you see them, they are, you know, they are, pff, apparently you think that they are not upon salafiyah. You're going to chase them out or you're going to, Escort them out, la. But rather, we give them a cup of tea. You know what I'm saying? Give them a cup of coffee. Right? Give them a bottle of water. I mean, these are the things that actually will make a big impact on an individual. A big impact on an individual. I mean, it's very small, but it's, 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 it's tremendous as far as what softening the heart of the person that you're calling. Because remember, the statement of Shaykh Muhammad ibn Ibrahim, Ali Shaykh, he say, Al-muradu bil, bil, bil nasiha. The intent of nasiha is what? It is that you want good for the one you give it nasiha. You want good for him. You don't want to chase him out. You want good for him. Alhamdulillah. Now the other point is for the individual taking the truth. If the truth is what is important to you, don't look how it is served to you. Take it first. Accept it first. Internalize it first. And then, mashallah, tell your brother that you were short in how you dealt with me. Next time there is another one, please don't deal with him in this way. Because it might run him away. Because not everybody, everybody is built tough or rough-skinned and the likes of this. Some people, they are very emotional. Now, you say one thing twice, you know, they at the door. I ain't never come back here. I ain't talking about like compromising though the dawah. Let's say an individual, he said, I'm not going to come back to the masjid because you, talk, I mean, you all talk about, talk about our, my, uh, my scholar. Right? So where are you going? If they will talk about the individual, you're going to, you're going to run away from that too? The salah is in. Two more minutes. Let two, in the, two brothers mention what they have, get from the class, and we all out. Naam. You. Don't say I said. That scared me. I can't say anything like you said. <laughs> <laughs> you did say. Okay, say it. You did say that these are the two records for me, and I'm getting in there, and they two records for me, you keep on doing your thing. Right. That's okay. La 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 la. He say wathabata hadithun. 
So now who's the real, uh, who? No, he's talking about this hadith right here where the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said that Al Yadullah Ma'al Jama'a. That narration Barakallah fi Akhrajah Imam at Tirmizi min hadithi Abdullah ibn Umar. Fahimta? Barakallah fi Hadith Abdullah ibn Umar. Radiallah anhu arda. One, inshallah, about Ibrahim from the Fawaid and Mustafa. You got the second one, okay? Radiallahu anhu. The hadith of Abdullah ibn Mas'ud, the jama'ah is that which is in line with the truth. Even if you by yourself. Naam. Wakana. The hadith is still remaining. Okay, you quoted the hadith halfway. Wakana rajulan. Undur. Look at it. Undur. Wakana rajulan. Wakana rajulan. He quoted the hadith halfway, right? أحسنت ولقد كان رجلا كمل ابن مسعود رضي الله عنه قال that they used to see that only a hypocrite that is known of his hypocrisy will will not be present in the صلوات الجماعة he say a man will be carried by two men until he will be placed in the in the in the ranks. Mustafa, Faddal. Represent, Ahi. Be more, man. Come on. They hear you. Okay, so I got what um, what prevented the Prophet ﷺ from burning the homes of the ones who did not attend the Salat al Jama'a were the, the presence of the women and the children. Ahsanta. Ahsanta. That the Prophet, what pre prevented him from burning the homes of those who did not come to the Salat al Jama'a was what? Because of the women and the children that did not have no obligation in to come into the Salat al Jama'a. Abu Zura? Kamil. Kamil. The Hadith did not stop there. Aywa. Aywa. أحسن تبارك الله فيك وصلى الله وسلم على محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين.